ladies and the booming class. Ladies, I want to share with you these two things that I created、um, for a swap with Natasha. Natasha is my Nashgar here on YouTube, guys. I'm gonna put the link to her channels below because I'm not sure if I、um, pronounce her YouTube name right. All right.、Um, and Natasha and I,、um, we agreed to do a one-on-one -on -one swap、um, a while ago. Natasha asked me to.、Um, Do a card swap with her, and I totally agree to do that because I love making cards, guys. And I'm really excited to create these two things for her. Hi, Natasha. I hope you like these sweeties. Um, I really um, I don't know. I try to make things that I think you will like. So um, let me share the card first. This is the card that I made, guys, and it's a heart shape easel card, and I really love it. Um. So、um, I made it pretty simple. This time I freehand、um, drew my card, and you know, so um, it's um, it's a heart shape card by itself like that. And I used the cream card stock for this one. And then over here, like on the front panel here, it's actually um two pieces of paper. Um, the the cream card stock that I cut the heart shape out, and then these die cut um. That I、um, cut out using the same die that I made、um, my first heart easel card. I'm not sure if you remember, but I don't have that die with me. But I use that die, and then、um, this tag is like coming out, guys. So、um, on the background here on my、um, cardstock, I want to emboss it at the beginning, but I changed my mind because the heart is pretty big, guys, and it wouldn't fit in. Um, you know, like in an embossing folder, so I use a doily instead, and I don't think it shows on the camera, but it's a cupid in the center there. I also um I just put glue on the cardstock and I um paste this doily on it, and then I put a little bit of glimmer mist on there as well, just to um give it some color, you know, so it wouldn't look like start white. And over here on on the edge of the of the um. Heart cut out、um, on the cardstock, guys. I use this trim that I have in my stash. I just put it around the edge of the card, so you know when it peeks out, it looks pretty like that. And then、um, I cut out this doily heart using the、um, I think it's the Quick Cuts die, guys. And for this card, I use the Prima、um, Middle Lark Paper Collection because I really love the lavender color. Of these of these paper, and I hope you like it, Natasha. I really love it. So、um, I cut it out, and you know, I kind of like arrange everything before I glue it down. I use this trim that I have in my stash here. I really love it. I don't have a lot, but you know, I think it looks really pretty here. So I add it there, and then I use some embellishments I have. So over here, this is、um, flower from Crystal, and some.、Um, Heart shape,、um, little piece here. I don't know how to call that. And you know, I just、um, add some spray, some flowers, and these tiny flowers here. And I put diamond stickers on them. And then around the edge of this、um, heart, you can see the holes here. So I just thread, I thread these tiny pearls into the holes. You know, some of them, so it looks like it wrap, like it drape around this、um, this corner here. And over here, this is a Sarah K stamp image that I have, and it's the first time I use it, and I really love it. She, I think her name is like Pia or something. It's spelled like P I A, so that's the name of the stamp. I don't know if I say it right,、um, but you know, I really love how she looks, and I color her in with Copic markers,、um, and I love the. Kind of like soft teal with um soft lavender color together like this. I think it goes together so well, and I added some diamond stickers around the edge here, um, and also some little pearl stickers I got from Star Crafters. I love it. So um, this is the front of my card, and over here, oh, this is actually um. Just a little piece that I cut out, and I stamp thank for thank you for being my friend, and it's the Lawn Fawn stamp set, guys. Um, I really love this stamp set. I can't remember the name of it. I'm gonna put it up on the screen though, cause it had lots of nice friendly sentiments, and so I just tear these piece out, stamp the words in the center, put some perfect pearls on it, and I use the diamond stickers, you know, around the edge, 
and I also add tiny dots there using liquid pearls and I really love how it turned out guys so um, you can put your pictures in there Natasha if you want see you take it out and put little things in there or you can just keep it like that and I truly love the card and then when you open it up inside I keep it pretty simple I just layer these um, cardstock on the I mean the pattern paper on the cardstock and I use the um, doily that I cut out from my from the front here you know when I made the frame I just put it on a foam adhesive I think or, or hot glue I'm not sure but you know I created this little pocket here so I can slip in my tag and I just cut out these heart shaped tag and added some um, post string for the you know for the um, I don't know how to call it like you know what I mean and I just added this pearl and flower there so my tag could go in like that and um, I added these um, big post strand as stopper you know so um, my card could stand and I also use some butterflies that I have in my stash and these little stickers is from Sa Crafter as well guys I love it um, it looks so cute so this is the card and I truly hope you like it, Natasha. Um, you know, because it's a card swap, so I try to make it really pretty and special. And I love how it turned out. The color is, like, really nice. And then I decided to make you another little thing. Because, you know, I have these, um, I don't, you call it the Bowser box, right? I have these um, that, you know, um, you guys gave me when we did, um, swap so I create um, I outer one for you Natasha I think you met you will like this so um, what I did guys I painted the box with white paint but I mix glitters into the paint so when it dry it looks like this and it has like some like sandy texture and I really like how it looks here and then I just let it to dry and I used the Prima Middle Law collection again I just cover the top here and I decorated it like with some tiny things like this like the post strand these stickers here and some flowers and the acrylic butterflies and this is another Sarah K image that I stamp and color and you know the, the girl is like drinking tea so I just tear out these little tag with my hand crumple it up and I used some perfect pearls with water to give it some colors like this and I wrote um you're my cup of tea I think it's a nice saying I have a stamp um you know but I couldn't find it so I wrote it down myself and I think it goes so well with this little girl you know because she's drinking tea I really love it and and I want her to look like she's standing up like that so you know I just put some flowers and these big pearl behind her so um, she could um, stay up like that and over here I just add some spray some acrylic butterfly with the bling and over here this um the buttons that came with the box right guys so I painted the button as well but I cover it up with this acrylic flower and I used the trim that I got from Annie um, the you know the cotton candy color trim I can't remember the name but it's the ruffle trim with lace here and I used the blue one I just kind of like hot glue it around the button itself and it looks like flower here and it's so pretty see I really love it but <laughs> I took the 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 string out you know because it's supposed to like kind of like um hold the late close but I don't know how this is the first time I altered these kind of box guys my first outer Bowser box so I didn't know how to add um the closure so I just leave it like this because it's pretty heavy and the lid will stay closed but um, there's two holes here so I just tie the ribbons with lace and you know I tie a bow using this lace and I added two little heart shaped pearl there so um, it looks like that and inside I painted the inside um, with that same white paint mixed with um, glitter as well so I'm gonna add little things in here and I really like it guys so um, these are the two things I made for you Natasha I truly hope that you will like them you know um, I try 
to um, make them like go together. Um, thank you so much for asking me to swap with you, sweetie. I couldn't wait to get um, your package and see what you made for me. Um, by the time I put up this video, um, your package might already arrived. Um, Cause I know I'm gonna mail it out later than you, the, later than you did. Um, well, anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I'll hope I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.